Gaffer, that was a tale of, of both ends, really, wasn't it? Wasteful finishing and, and poor defending. Well, um, yeah, 100%. If you defend like that, you concede. Um, we should be 3 0 up in the game. Uh, based on the, the game, really, that would have been fair. Um, but if you if you have suicide or defending, it will cost you. So, despite being free up or not being free up, then we, we find ourselves down to two atrocious goals. That's the only way you can describe them. But, you know, my time has come very soon. We'll wrap it up and we'll start to build a promotion team for Peterborough United. Yeah, was that first half similar to Blackburn in a sense that you controlled long, large periods of it, just didn't get that second goal? Well, we should have got the second goal. We've had some poor finishing, haven't we? But when there's a consistent trait of bad defending and there's a consistency to, to no finish or by the boy Marriott and Madison who we've not got tonight, then it tells you that someone will good enough. So we'll, we'll go to, we'll go and do a business uh, as soon as we leave Fratton Park a week on Saturday. Yeah, is it getting to that point now where you're just itching to, to, to sort of rip it up and stamp it, your, your own authority on it? Well, I think we've given people enough opportunity um, to, to perform. We knew there was grave concerns when we come in. Uh, we tried to remain positive, which we'll, we'll do till we come out of Fratton Park. In fairness to everyone else fighting for those playoffs. Um, but we'll, if we come back to Shrewsbury, it's only if we wish Paul and his staff and certainly the chairman and, and Brian every success here, they're good club, good people. But if we come back, I'm sure the Shrewsbury public will say a much improved Peter United team when we come back because I'll say it as it is, if I can't improve that, I'll get a game up. Yeah, you, you had to come here with that tough early, Madison players already and then Marriott was added to that list as well. And to be without the leading goal scorer in the league was always going to be a blow. Well, when you're missing outstanding players, you're going to miss them. You know, Marriott and Madison are exceptional for the level. Um, but it's not a two-man squad the chairman's built here. He's got some serious investment on that pitch. And um, but my job is to analyse it. What the chairman does here supports his managers, and um, I'm sure when when the chairman's already got my list of players, he's already got it. And um, that's all I can say. Just people United supporters get get ready for a good season next season. We'll be we'll be challenging next season. One, one million percent. If I can improve that again, we're two games, three games from the end of the season. We're fighting for the playoffs. Um, you begin a game up if that's what you've produced over two or three years as a manager. Yeah. Do you think it's just what Marriott's problem is at the moment? Oh no, Jack's just got a little bruised foot. Um, just a little bit impact from a little bit of hard ground when we were doing some work. But um, it's, not, it's not a big issue for, for us. We probably could have played him here at a push tonight. At a push, but there's a damage limitation really. And uh, we're, we're not but taking risks. So we've made enough chances to win five games tonight. But when you can when you defend like that, you know what? And there's a commonality. You, posh supporters know who they are. Posh supporters are, are like most supporters, they're intelligent people. The, the hardcore of Porsche supporters who's travelled here tonight, they've seen the mistakes. I don't I don't need to name individuals, they've seen them. But those individuals won't be part of what I'm building.